Hello again. Thank you so much for joining me for this next video. So this is interesting how you're getting the video <laughs> that you're getting. I was guided to start cleaning out. I mean, that may seem to be that you don't need to be guided to start cleaning things out, um, but that's how it works with me. Anyway, started cleaning out my old channels. I have hundreds of channeled messages from my early journey. I do less of them now, but I still do them, obviously. Um, and it was so interesting. I'm categorizing the channels, okay? Because eventually I want to do a book, if I ever get there. Anyway, so I'm categorizing the channels, some of which are more, um, I'll just say kind of essay-like and a little bit longer. So I was categorizing them, and this one kept standing out to me, and it kind of just kept moving. I don't want to say moving around in the pile by itself, because it wasn't, but I mean, it would just keep showing up as I was moving things. And so I started to look at it. I'm like, I think I shared this a long time ago in my videos. Um, but I am very much being asked to share it again. And so some of you might remember it, might not. Um, it's rather lengthy, but it's beautiful, and it's a message for all light workers, all of us are, who are front runners, right? You can argue, oh, everybody's a light worker, right? But there are some of us who are in this huge wave and these, you know, first, second waves kind of things that are doing this now. Like I've said before, what they've always shown is, you know, taking a machete through the jungle and creating that first initial path. The others are going to have to chop down their own part of the jungle, right? Because the initial path is created and we leave an energetic stamp for them to follow, and we're magnetic. However, they have their own journey too, right? So anyway, this is for all of you who are watching this video, because if you're watching this video, you're most likely you're going through spiritual awakening and you know it. You're wondering if something's going on in your journey, and maybe you are going through spiritual awakening, and or you're aware that uh, of this this process you're going through of spiritual shift and change, and you are, um, you know, whether you know it or not fully, you're, you're starting to experience change in your life, okay? Anyway, needless to say, I'm gonna introduce myself first before we get going on that, and then I wanna share a couple other things that maybe will help you in your journey forward in what's going on presently. So, I'm Carolyn, I'm a channel, I'm a distance energy healer, and I'm a spiritual awakening mentor. And I bring through these videos, including the channeled messages from the Light Keepers, conversations I have with Jennifer and other people, and just information that I provide to you as well through channeled information and my own journey to help you along your ascension, awakening, and life journey. So thank you so much for joining me today in the description box below. If you want more free content and you want exposure to the poetry that the Light Keepers have brought through for years for me, you will get a poem a week on a Friday for the week coming up. So check it out below sign up and basically that's what I use my email list for. You're not going to get a lot of advertising. <laughs> not trying to sign you up for anything. I always believe if you're meant to work with me down the road, you will and a time will come. Needless to say, I want to provide more content. I was um, very much guided in the early days to do this collection and then I'm sharing it out with all of you through the weekly email. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me there as well as liking, sharing, and subscribing on this video because it helps me reach more people who can benefit from these messages. And as you know, it's an important time to be able to do that and to reach more people. Okay, so with that said, um, I want to talk a little bit about what's happening right now. Most of you know, or many of you know, that Pluto has moved, now first of all I should say, I'm not an astrologist, but I know enough, all right? And I speak to the energy behind that. Um, Pluto is in, has moved into Aquarius as of the 20th of January, okay? Which was just a couple days ago. That said, it's moving into Aquarius, it's moved into Aquarius until around, I don't know the date, September, for a few weeks, it'll move out. And then in November, it's back for 20 years, okay? This is a time, going to be a time, and we're starting now, of transformation. Remember that word, transformation, okay? We're gonna see some huge collective things happen, shifting and changing. As you know, I've brought through previously 
that 2023 was the year of creative expansion. 2024 is the year of creative expansion 2.0. And as we know, you got to break down first, which 2023 was, and then we'll continue doing that in 2024. But we're going to also be creating out and expanding out. That's transformation, okay? What does that mean for you individually, all right? We know in the collective, we see it all the time, all oh, this is shifting and changing. Focus on yourself, okay? Where are you going to be having this transformation? Now, Again, many of you may know this, but if you don't, you can figure out where that transformation, what category kind of of your life that's going to be happening in. And remember, this is a long period of time to unfold. This isn't going to just happen overnight, right? Um, so what you're going to want to do is take a look at what house Aquarius is in your chart, your natal chart. Now, you can go online. I think you can kind of figure out how to do that and everything. If, in fact, you need somebody to help you do your natal chart or to understand all that, I do have some recommendations for you. Um, however, what I would say is I think you can get all of that on online with some tools, but that will help you understand where you're going to be focused on the whole transformation aspect. And then, of course, as we know, that bleeds out into other parts of our journey. All right, so check that out. That's where we're at now. So these are really powerful times, okay? Very powerful times of moving forward. As we know, January, they were talking very much about flow. We're going to start feeling some of that flow. Now, that doesn't mean that's going to be totally smooth, right? I mean, we're, what, three-quarters of the way through, three-quarters, two-thirds of the way through January? Doesn't mean you're just going to be floating down a stream and you're not going to have to go over some boulders. <laughs> it means that you're going to be able to... to when you're in that flow state with the universe, getting signs and messages, being led through your day, you're going to know more about those. You're going to be more aware that those times are happening. And you will likely have more of them. This is the start of that, okay? This is how they unfold their information. January, flow. We're starting to flow. We're starting to flow, okay? But in a more succinct um, way with, I just heard, greater clarity, um, in our journey. Now, we're all different stages of this, remember? Okay, so you may be listening to it going, oh my God, that's not happening to me. I'm not, I'm in the worst time of my life. <laughs> this is all about stages and approaches. This is important information for you to have if you don't feel you're in this, but you, you likely might be in flow in that stage that you're in, if that makes any sense. So anyway, needless to say, we're in this huge time of transformation, which is what's happening now collectively. And as we're moving into you know, Pluto into Aquarius for the next 20 years. So expectation is, as we're moving forward, as I've talked previously, we're going to have a, a I don't want to say a number of years, but I believe so. We talked to at least the next few years where this is transformation, uh, or, or I, I'm sorry, this, um, this uh, creative expansion idea of breaking down in the collective. We're going to see it's going to get bumpier and lumpier. But as you do your work, as you're focused on yourself, you're actually gaining in frequency and vibration and you're breaking past all of that. Okay, we've talked plenty about that. I'm not going to go through it again. But anyway, needless to say, I just wanted to give you that little hint about um, Pluto, Aquarius, how you can figure that out so that you can really get a sense of a bit of what your journey might be moving forward or at least some, um, I guess I'll just say, foundational understanding. Okay, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and read this beautiful um channel that came in some time ago and like I said it's really fitting it's very suited it's beautiful I hope you all take it in individually and understand how important each of you are in this journey how important it is that you're in the fold of those who are doing their inner work to of doing the you know <sighs> You gap, they just said grabbing the gold ring. Yeah, grabbing the gold ring. And not when it has been presented to us, meaning the spiritual journey and the spiritual awakening and all this awareness, and we turn a blind eye. It's, it's you having turned toward what is being presented, even during the difficult times, and being able to move through that with grace. We don't always move through it with grace, by the way. <laughs> ultimately coming out with grace, right? And, and understanding down the road. And realizing that you're following this path that has been put out for you for not only your greater good, but obviously the greater good of the collective. So thank you so much for what you're doing. Every single one of you, regardless of where you're at in your journey. It's a very, very important time right now. 
as we know, um, in the collective, and of course with us individually, and how we are able to impact the collective by the work that we do individually. Okay, I'm going to read this. It's a little lengthy, but I think it's beautiful, and I do hope you enjoy it. All right, here we go. For those who have walked this path, may all glory rise up to meet you. May blessedness and grace be in your way. May your path be bright and light and the sunshine in your face, the light streaming down to show your way on the path forward. May you be guided into grace, all goodness and blessings. May your life be full of joys that are unmeasurable and as the winds blow your way, bringing difficulties, may these struggles blow past you as quickly as a bird on wing. May you find your place on this earth and see it for the beauty it is, the life you have been given. May you tread lightly and smile gracefully upon one another. May you see your place in this great understanding of this journey forward, the part you play, the role you have, the blessings you have been given. May you see the blessing that you are and that you have come this day to offer yourself to this great mission forward. For all, grace to you, love and thanksgiving for the strength you have, the sacrifices you have made, and the glory brought to others even though at times you may not see it in your way. For your light shines strong even in the darkest of days. You are what keeps all moving forward, the flame of the fire, the breath of the air that is, the colors of the rainbow, the wind on the wing, the sun in the day, the bloom on the flower, the butterfly out of the cocoon. You are all growth and knowing and loving kindness for being the ones who have come forward this day to stand strong and tall in your knowing of who you are again, finding your way, reaching deep down, never forsaking the cause, finding the oneness of love and light, the beauty and grace of the earth that can be and that was. All that can be and ever will through you and your light this day. For those in your shadows follow you, they see you and hear and know you. You see it in their eyes. You understand it. Covered up before, you now bring the cloth from their eyes. They begin to see as they follow your way. You are teachers. You are wise ones. You are wisdom seekers. You are sages. You are seers. You are prophets. You are masters. You are all glory of humankind. Brought again into these roles during this time. You are light. You are love. You are the greatness that humankind can be. Here to witness the unfolding of what can be in every single soul together as one collective in humankind. Now and forevermore, you will find the light and you will see the path. We will never forsake you. We are here and never far, even though there are days that feel dark and stormy and you find that you have lost your way. A ship on the shore abandoned and stranded. But never more are you, for you will find your rudder again. You will raise your sail again, and your ship will sail. Times come, and they go, and they bring you peace, and then not so. They bring you dark times and learning and lessons. But then you unmoor yourself from the stranded times, and you sail again with the wind at your back. We are those that support you from the skies. We never forsake, and we will never leave your side. You are light, and you are love. You are the wind on the wing. You are the bloom on the flower. You are the love on the face of the other. You are all there is and evermore. You are learning that you behold all of this within you, assisting others forward in this day, and one day all will see the same. You are all brightness, and you shine like an everlasting light, a beacon of hope and love. As you move through your day, know this and be strong understand our gratitude for the mission you have taken on. For the beauty and light will soon come your way, through the difficult times you have seen and the struggles, but you see the beauty that shines underneath and that soon will be a bounty for all to witness. In light and love, we leave you this day, now and forevermore, the Light Keepers. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that. I think it's beautiful. And um, yeah, just listen to that again. I'm gonna, in fact, I'm gonna think I'm gonna just sit and read it tonight for myself and just really, you know, read it and think about it deeply. So 
Anyway, that's what I have for you today. I hope you're enjoying your first few days with Pluto and Aquarius. And as we're heading into, can you believe it, the final last week or so of January already. I cannot believe it. Anyway, I thank you so much. And as a reminder, my services can be found on purplerainhealing.com where I offer channeled messages, distance energy healing, spiritual awakening, mentoring, and individual guidance sessions. All right, everybody, thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you in the next video.